Right guys, so welcome back to kind of part two of this video. The first part, I'll put a little link up here now, was the mystery box I got from Transfers Online. Again, as this is a rehousing of their animals, I'll put the link in the description below. Let's hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it. So the first one we're going to go with is the Nandu Chromatus. If you're not sure what Nandu Chromatus looks like, I will show you as I have a juvenile here and I've just picked up another juvenile. So, hey, hopefully male and female. Known weirdly as the Brazilian red and white, I believe. The white striped bird eater, and I think it's got some other names. Um, quite a simple setup for this one. It's a juvie, it's probably going to molt maybe twice and then be moved out of here. So it's got a nice little place to hide in there, place to walk around, and a water dish. I've not given it any greenery or anything because, as I said, I don't think it's going to be in here for a massively long time. Get the pentalaurus out of the way. Let's get into this rehouse. But first, let's put some water in its dish because I know sometimes if you rehouse them first and then put water in the dish, or you put water in the dish, they escape because some of them are nightmares. I also think this will be quite interesting to see because a lot of people say that that can be quite aggressive, whereas the one I showed you two seconds ago is fantastic, great temperament. Apologies if you can hear any noises. Unfortunately, it's a very windy day and I'm stuck in a garage. I think the easiest way of doing this is I keep seeing most people doing it, which is just do that out. Do you want to open this up a bit actually? Let's have a go on. Is actually facing this way. So you can't see much. I'm going to try and get it so it can go straight in the hide if it wants to. And then it's fallen off anyway, so it's not really where it. Upside down, so we don't want it upside down, do we? So you can see it. I'll try and get the light on it a bit. There you go. Absolutely stunning tarantulas these are. I love George, is the one that I've got named at the moment, mainly because, as I said earlier, the red and white, Brazilian red and white, red and white flag of England, St. George's Cross. Random reason, but. Again, not really any attitude from that. Nice easy rehouse. That's up the rest of them are going to be like that. There is a Nandu. Absolutely love these. Let's get on to the next one. Right, guys, so next up is the female Pentalaurus. Um, this is going to be the setup. Should be easily big enough. For now, I, do, I will stress that this is only a temporary home, but if I do that, that's my loft that's got all my things in, and the ladder comes down to here, and there's so much junk around at the moment, I need to move all of that before I can get the correct home out, so I'll hopefully do that over the next week. And now my child's going to ruin it. Right, sorry for the interruption guys, um, should we get on with this rehouse? Let me 
to get a good pack for you. squeezing might get it out but apparently not so we can get it to go straight into there all right there's always think would this part be dizzy from this look at that rump absolutely stunning little tea this is as I always try and do Minimise the chance of an escape due to what I've had before. And it's going to straight into his hide, as I was hoping. Let's see if we can get a better shot for you. If we can turn the flash on. There it is. This is also known as the Tiger Rump. I don't need to explain that one to you, do I? Absolutely stunning species. As I said before, this is a temporary home. This will get probably moved into its permanent home within the next week or so. I know they grow up, including leg span, about 11, maybe 12 centimetres across, so they're not the biggest spider in the world. So they don't need masses and masses of room. But it's definitely going to need more room than it's in now. So. That's rehoused two out of two, and I have no idea what's happening because they're weirdly enough going to plan. So let's try the others. We still got a varsity to come yet, that could be fun. Right, guys, so next is going to be my Carabiner varsity colour. Now, I've seen this on lots of unboxing videos and stuff. These cut the end off because I'm never going to use it again. Um, kind of just pushed the tea out, so that's my plan. But what I'm going to do is there's a tiny little water dish in there, I will fill it up. I know, as I said, I remember my first Versi that I had was a nightmare from. I got it a little bit bigger than this, but it did like to escape. I'm always fine with these. Right, he's desperate to come out, so we'll see if we can get him to go straight on this leaf. Oh, I don't want to be doing that because it's like it's crushing him. Oh, as I said, desperate to go, and he's out. And he's on me, and he's being crazy. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love these transfers. They are unbelievable. And he's in, as easy as that. And, oh, we look like we may have an escapee jewel part two. No, stay in. Seriously, how can anyone not have one of these in our collection? Unbelievable. I'm so glad I've got one back. And wait for it to grow, get to see it go through all the blue stage again to get it gets its juvenile slash adult coloration. Fingers crossed. This one's a go. Oh no. It'll just keep going for it because that's exactly what these do. Hence why the last one was escapey Joe, because every time I took the lid off it escaped. But let's let this one settle in. Try and feed it in a couple of days. Nice look. There it is. I'll put a picture of when it gets a little bit bigger, the blue that I'm talking about from Escapey Joe before. Right, guys, so we've got some containers ready. I'm going to move that one out of the way. And that one out of the way. This one is going to be the one for the OBT Usambara, or the, I believe it's the Mountain right of this tarantula so 
just going to pop that one up on. Kind of lean it down towards the hole if we can. What am I doing? Make it a bit easier. Yes. Cut that off. I'm going to lean it down a bit easier. These file things are so small. Yeah. It's on the side of the wire, so to be fair, it's got some cracking. Got to sit for something so small. He's even knocked the vial out of the way, he ain't having any of it. Typical OBT. But that is a lovely looking sling. I always thought after my last one I probably wouldn't have an OBT again. Turns out, yeah I will. But let's just try and get that bit out in the middle. Right. I won't freak him out too much. Lovely OBT. Oh, think he's found a hole. No, nope, he's not having any of the hole. Let's put that on before he tries to escape. We ain't having any of that. Currently on the lid. Don't know if you can see. Pays well quick reactions with spiders. Guys, okay, so up next we're going to have the purple tree spider. Going to try the same as all the others. I don't know, I'm hoping that it goes onto the leaf. Wait for the camera to focus. Hopefully I'll stop pushing this a little bit and it just pops out. Yeah, it's popped out and I don't know where it's gone. It's in there somewhere. No, it's on the lid. Typical. Right, it's on the leaf. Let's just let him chill a minute. That one over so we don't escape. Hopefully it means you just realise I actually wasn't recording for that bit. <laughs> but we got the vial out, tree spider. It's there on the side. Left there about 10 minutes while I had to deal with one of my children. Um, so there's two more to go. So let's get them done. Guys, okay, so the next one up is going to be the Piece as my and this one every time I open it up it seems to want to just come out anyway so I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made in the last one I'm cutting that bit straight off hopefully it's just gonna go down into the hole but we'll find out Come out, but he hasn't. He just wants to get back in the tissue. Sorry, little dude, that's not really how it works. I think it's still in the tissue. This is a slight problem with them being so small. Don't want to hurt them. I kind of do want him to go to the tissue. What I may do, just leave him in there for a minute. Trying to make sure if I squeeze a bit that he's not in. Kind of give him no choice but to move back, but it's not really. Working too well. Yeah. That's time, he's out. 
there is. This has me. I'll put a picture up of all of these when they're older so you can actually see what they're going to grow into. Right guys, but last but by no means least, the Brachypalma Abopolossum Nicaraguan form. Now, I did get one of these Nicaraguan form before, however, I'm not sure which one of here it is. I know I've got a true form. And for anyone who doesn't know what these spiders look like, let's move on that a minute. Can you see it in there? Take that off. That's what they look like. This, I believe, is the true form. The Nicaraguan form, I believe, has got orange hairs, but to be honest, in this light, these look orange, so. Well, guys, so that's enough of that. We'll, um, <clears throat> we'll get back to what we were meant to be doing. This one is proper ditty as well. So, what I might do, because I know that they like to burrow a bit. Because this container is a little bit bigger than the others. Make a bigger burrow in there. I won't give it a hide. Just because of the size of this one. I don't want to be doing that either. Luckily enough, it's still got all the tissue in. Wow, I think this might be the smallest spider I've ever owned. Right, hopefully this one will be a bit easier because there's more room. Seriously guys, look how small that is. So small the camera won't even focus. Let's try and get it focusing on that bit. There we go. That is definitely the tiniest spider I've ever owned. And I don't even know if I've got anything I can feed it at the moment. You can see next to it is a springtail. And it's probably like a third of the size of it. It's out, it's in there. There it is, look. Tiny little spider. It's weirdly enough, all of the teas now rehoused. Oh.